This is a video on constructing our confidence interval for a population uh, proportion. Uh, we have a question about why do we need confidence intervals? Basically, um, confidence interval gives us a much better sense of how good our estimate is. It gives us a 95% confidence, 99% uh, confidence that it's in such an interval. So the definition of a confidence interval or interval estimate is a range or an interval of values used to estimate a true value of a population per parameter. A confidence interval is sometimes abbrevi abbreviated as CI. So here's a question asking us to calculate the confidence interval. Clinical trial tests a method designed to increase the probability of a conceiving a girl. The study of 500 babies were born and 275 of them were girls. Use the sample data to construct 99% confidence interval estimate of the percentage of girls born. Based on that result, does the method appear to be effective? Well, we're going to do this in stat crunch to get our, otherwise it's, it's a long process and you need to watch the other video by hand. But I'm going to go to stat, proportion stats, one sample with summary. If I had data, if I had all the data that they gave us for each of them, we'd do that, but we have a summary. We have the number of successes is 275. The observations were 500. And then we want to create a confidence level. Here they asked us for a 99% confidence level. And then you just leave it as this one here, the standard wall, and you click Compute. Now it will show you a lower limit of 0.493, round up, and 607, keep it. Now it's saying that we're 99% confident that the interval shown here actually contains the true value of the population proportion P. So now we can make our inference off of that. Does the method appear to be effective? Well. It says, no, the proportion of the girls is not significantly different from 0.5 because the probability of having a boy or girl is 0.5. If this confidence interval contains that 0.5, then it's not significantly different. Now we could conclude alternatively, if, the, if it were above 0.5, for example, my picture on the right, then, therefore, the 99% confidence interval is 0.698, up to 0 0.802. The confidence interval contains proportions near, near 0.5. There is no proof of the method. But if the confidence only contains proportions above 0.5, it is effective increasing the probability of female births. So in this example, if you had a confidence interval like this, we could say it is effective increasing the probability of female births. But because ours includes 0.5, which is the probability of having a boy or girl, it, it's too close. The interval is too close, and we can't we can't uh, um, say that this is correct. Then, okay, so that's how you can find the confidence interval of a proportion.